Hello everyone. Uh, this is a video response to Hibernia Sun uh, and his video series uh, regarding intrasquad comms uh, while on patrol. Now, the patrolling aspects of his uh, videos I have absolutely no problem with. They're brilliant. It is the technical points about the CB radio and the antennas and how to use them uh, that I'd like to help clear up some, some confusion with. So regarding the uh, CB radio dipole, uh, the first problem is the dipole, as he described it, is not a directional antenna. Well, not exactly. Uh, a single element dipole in horizontal configuration would produce an RF pattern, uh, pattern equally in front and behind the antenna when you transmit. So even if you pointed it towards HQ or base cramp or whoever you wanted to talk to, it would still transmit your intent to your intended target but it would also transmit behind you as well. Uh, this would make it easier for a guy like me to triangulate your position as you already provide two reflected points of reference uh, for me to use uh, when you're using that radiation pattern from that antenna. So, the second problem I have with the horizontal dipole is that it is a large structure to put up. Uh, even if you carried it around uh, in the grenade cans, as we saw in your video, uh, ultimately you would still need to deploy it when you want to communicate with your base camp or HQ. Uh, for this reason, and only for this reason, I think it's pretty impractical. Um, as you use the example of, of squad comms, uh, in my opinion, you might want to use comms, or a comm system which is uh, easily accessible and deployable. Uh, why not consider, for example, base camp having a very high vertical antenna and leave the patrol to use rubber duckies? Uh, moreover, something that works in real time with no need for a tree would be a much better solution giving you the ease of use uh, you spoke about, but also fast deployment if your patrol situation changes. Um, the reason I keep going uh, back to this point is because I believe uh, that you can't just decide uh, if a patrol remains passive or not. Uh, a member could fall and break their leg, for example, uh, and you might need to get help from uh, your base camp. Uh, so I don't like the idea of having communications that need to be deployed. Uh, I would like to see, uh, especially for for patrols uh, or reconnaissance patrols, uh, for whatever reason uh, they're out there, I would like to see them have uh, uh, fast capabilities to communications with the base camp. So, uh, this next point is uh, cutting the antenna to a single frequency. Um, this might not be a good option because a dipole covering the entire band is only a few inches longer than a dipole cut for that one frequency in your example. Uh, having a multi-channel dipole with ultimate, would ultimately simplify your comms with base camp as you would no longer need to take a different antenna each time you go out. The way you increase the dipole's bandwidth is by using a thicker gauge of wire. It's that simple. Uh, moreover, when you do the math to find the dipole measurements, you cut for channel 20. Then you end up with an antenna for the entire CB band and a more simple comm solution for the non-technical members of your group. Uh, this next point is uh, about using CB as a tactical communication system. Uh, I'll give CB is very, very simple. You push the button and uh, you talk, and that's it. That's that simple. Um, but there are a few problems with using CB as a tactical system. Uh, CB consists of uh, the 11 medium radio band. In USA, it's 40 channels. In Europe uh, and some other European countries, it's 80 channels. Um, if I'm the guy who is monitoring your comms so that I can uh, uh, do you harm or steal your survival supplies or uh, whatever, those 40 channels you use will make it extremely easy for me to figure out where you are and when you are there. Um, I know you said that... Uh, you only use comms as a last resort to report the position of uh, bad guys or something like that, but you never know if you're being monitored as well. Um, it would even allow uh, me the uh, uh, to ensure that if I attack your base camp, uh, you won't have any idea about that until it's too late. In contrast, uh, just using uh, SSB, AM, or FM mode in CB would make it that much uh, more difficult for me to figure out your movements because different modes propagate RF differently. It just makes it more complicated. So what I'm saying is, don't necessarily think that the people in your group, uh, or that the radio things uh, for the people in your group 
you know, that these are, things are too complicated. Uh, SSB and FM and AM and, and so on, these aren't difficult things. It's only a matter of practice. And you, as a guy who uh, knows what you're talking about and uh, have the skills to teach people, just give them courses or exercises or get them used to using the, uh, the different modes. Uh, that way, uh, they'll get used to it and they'll learn by trial and error. Uh, if you're going to rely on a single mode, what is it? I guess it's AM in, in USA these days. Uh, AMCB, um, it's really, well, to each his own. Uh, I don't say that it's wrong, but I'm saying that you could make much better use of the hands uh, while teaching uh, the people in your group uh, a little bit better communication habits.